John Mark, it's good to see you again. Thank you very much for agreeing to do this. Just tell us briefly who you are and something about yourself. Attard is my surname. Um, well, I come from this island, Malta. Of, uh, I'm um, full Maltese. In your life, being a Christian is very important, yes? Yes, I was uh, not raised as a, um, as a Christian. I, I was raised as a Roman Catholic, of course. But, um, of course, after I have, um, how I say, uh, seen the light of the Gospel, I've decided to start following the Bible more closely uh, instead of, you know, man-made uh, doctrines and stuff. So, I understand that you come from a background of experiencing same-sex attraction. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Homosexuality, yes, it is correct. And what happened? Because I don't think that's the case now. You've gone in a different direction. Just tell us briefly how that's happened. Yeah, of course, definitely not. I'm not into that uh, lifestyle anymore. Uh, even when I was in that lifestyle, I um, there were times when I've always felt I wanted out because um, uh, it's a life of perversity. It's a life of unfaithfulness. Even um, within most homosexual couples, there are unfaithfulness in most of, of... But are you okay with people who feel that that's right for them? Is that something that you know you're, you're free to allow them uh, to be who they feel they need to be? Well, I've got no rights to tell anybody what to do. However, as a Christian, and Jesus said, go and preach the gospel to all the kingdom, and also we know that uh, with love, if you don't warn somebody of the dangers they are in, then you're not being lovable, you're being hateful. So, um, I can't force my beliefs and my opinions on other people and other homosexuals, but I have to lovingly show them the truth, that this is a lifestyle of sin, and it will lead you to hell. These are not my words, these are the words of Jesus. So for you, what was the turning point? I know you came to faith, but was there anything um, that seemed to, to begin to turn you in a new direction? Yes, like I said, the um, perverseness there is in such lifestyle, and I've always, um, I was never satisfied. I was never satisfied, and not even when I got w what I wanted. It's not. It was. It was only a temporary satisfaction, which brought even more sadness. And I, I wanted. I wanted to opt out of this lifestyle. And uh, of course, then uh, I encountered the truth of the gospel through people who preached the gospel to me, and. And yes, I, I gave my life to Jesus and I felt free and, and happy and not, not like many people picture us because many people picture us as suppressed people who are suppressing our feelings in order to, to, um, to prove that now we are right with God. It's not like that at all. So it's not suppression? No, not at all. It's freedom. We're, what? It's freedom. we're relieved. It's, it's relief. If anything, it is relieved. Well, it, it's an absolute pleasure to speak to you and thank you so much for sharing with us tonight. Thank you, the pleasure is mine.